I'm here to talk about some of the startups that are building on uh, within the PL network. We've worked really hard within the PL network to, for the network to be the best home for builders to really realize their hopes and dreams and bring their Web3 visions into reality. And so uh, we strive to be the absolute best partner to founders and teams. In the last few years, hundreds of startups have taken investment and joined the PL network to turbocharge their Web3 projects. And this really spans the gamut of investing and incubating a small team or an MVP through an accelerator or a dev grant to supporting startups that have already achieved product market fit and are in the scaling and growth stages of their life cycle. There are now over 500 total startups in the Pro Protocol Labs network at various stages of funding. Now, it's really hard for me to showcase all of these startups in, in really one presentation, but I'm gonna try and touch, up, touch on a few example categories to give you a sense of the breadth of startups that are within the network today. So first, there's a whole class of personal storage applications. Think like privacy-preserving, fully encrypted Dropbox where users actually own their own data. And this is all built on IPFS and Filecoin. These are apps our mom can use to take advantage of the properties of Web3. Skiff, Chainsafe, Fleek are just three examples, and they've all raised uh, their Series A recently and starting to accelerate their growth into Web2-style users. Uh, Matrix is also a personal messaging and enterprise collaboration platform that continues to gain steam. Second, uh, 2022 really paved the way for new ground for Web3 metaverse and gaming companies. Uh, I'm super proud of teams like Mona and Zone for building extremely high quality metaverse experiences on Web3 tech and startups like OP Games and Double Jump for helping gaming cross the chasm into Web3. Video and audio use cases are also becoming dramatically easier with startups focused on those problems specifically. For example, Audius is a Web3 native streaming and music discovery platform, and Huddle is a video conferencing software. Think like Zoom, but built on IPFS and Filecoin. In fact, a few weeks ago, Misari switched entirely from Zoom to using Huddle One for all of their internal and external meetings. Decentralized identity and credentialing is also a super important Web3 primitive, and several teams have been trying a whole bunch of different and complementary approaches, including Ceramic, Lit Protocol, Spruce, Unstoppable Domains. These are super well-capitalized efforts that have raised between 13 and 65 million in the last year, and so we're super excited for them to bring decentralized identity into reality. Uh, there's a long list of developer tools and crypto networks that are also building in the PL network. I'll highlight just a few, including Privy, which provides uh, APIs to manage user data off-chain. Uh, they raised $8 million just recently from Sequoia. And uh, Celestia, a modular con consensus and data network that recently secured $55 million from Bain Capital and Polychain Ventures. And there's a category of startups in the PLN that provide tools to help onboard businesses to Web3, including CoinShift that provides treasury management solutions that actually came through one of our accelerator programs about a year and a half ago, and Magna that helps alleviate the burden of token management. Finally, we have startups actually launching crypto-focused hardware into space. Think WeatherXM, CryptoSat, Spexy, and many others. And a whole category of decentralized uh, science startups, including DSci Labs and Radix, which is an operating system for your lab. So without further ado, I'm gonna call on uh, five of those teams to go into, in, into a little bit more depth and present their visions on how to make their projects a reality. Thank you very much. Hello, my name is Manos. I'm the CEO of WeatherXM. In WeatherXM, we're building the fastest growing uh, global weather station network. Uh, we, we launched earlier this year, and we already have 9,000 members in our Discord server and sold more than 5,000 weather stations worldwide. Now, you might think that weather is a solved problem, but in reality, uh, most of the world lacks accurate weather uh, knowledge on past, current, and future conditions. Governments spend billions every year trying to tackle this problem, uh, monitoring and forecasting weather, but it, weather remains one of the largest uh, uh, challenges of humankind. So new approaches are needed, and inspired by Filecoin and Helium, we adopted their 
um, economic ideas. We're utilizing their infrastructure, so we're storing weather on um, Filecoin and using compute from Filecoin and utilizing the network communication from Helium. And we have uh, designed an economic system where weather station owners are rewarded with our WXM token and, uh, weather station and, and weather customers have to purchase and spend our uh, token in order to uh, use the network data and network services. To, to support this uh, model, we had to build our own hardware, our own weather stations. Our weather stations are designed for large-scale deployments. They are 10 times more affordable. Um, they are energy and communication autonomous, and they provide cryptographic proof on weather conditions. So our community already benefits from accurate weather forecasts using our mobile app in Android and iPhones. And we have shipped 2,000 uh, stations worldwide, which are connected to our network and uh, send real-time weather data. We're shipping another 3,000 next month, and we are ramping up production to uh, uh, meet the huge demand with a schedule to produce 11,000 by the end of the year. Uh, to give you a, a comparison, NOAA, the U.S. Met Office, is operating 14,000 weather stations. So our goals are to uh, build, our vision is to build an open Web3 weather infrastructure, and our short-term goals are to ensure the maximum data quality of our network, to improve our uh, forecast accuracy, and to provide weather oracle services to industries that can benefit from moving uh, on chain, like the weather insurance um, one. Uh, we're four people from the team here in Lisbon for the next two weeks. Come and find us. We're happy to talk about weather and Web3. Thank you. Hey, everyone. It's awesome to be here with all of you today and to officially introduce Tefra Labs to the PL network. Tefra Labs was started because we believe that the world needs better coordination structures that do a much better job aligning incentives to important problems that need to be addressed. There are already countless individuals and organizations working tirelessly towards solving important challenges and addressing important opportunities for humanity, such as ethical AI, education, poverty, and many more, some of which Juan men mentioned earlier today as well. But we believe that these are the sorts of challenges and opportunities that are gonna need more complex coordination of many more people than ever before. And at Tefra Labs, we want to build some of the critical coordination and support structures that will bring billions of people together and enable them to work with unparalleled autonomy, ownership, and impact. Our first project is Radius, a decentralized talent marketplace powered by an open, user-owned reputation protocol. On the Radius network, people own their own work history and reputation and are able to curate these experiences and take them with them as they move forward into future opportunities as well. They're also naturally incentivized to make sure that their working engagements are successful. We launched an early version, an early MVP of the Radius front end earlier this year, and we're proud to share that to date, we've been able to support more than 50 contributor teams contributing to dozens of grant-funded opportunities throughout the IPFS and Filecoin ecosystem. Some examples of Radius grantee work includes new software to support petabyte scale Filecoin clients, shout out to the Singularity team, um, also implementing various IPFS requests for measurement to support the probe lab team as we try to bring more observability to the IPFS network, and also engineering roadmaps and specs to be able to um, sync and store blockchain state and transaction history across many different L1 and L2 ch chains to and from IPFS and Filecoin, and many more projects as well. As we look ahead, we're piloting a number of new initiatives to bring new contributors into the PL network and eventually other ecosystems over time. We recently announced the Radius Fellowship, FBM edition, which is a six-week engineering fellowship to train builders on how to build robust smart contracts with FBM. And next year, we're gonna be launching the Radius Reputation Protocol, which will allow builders to curate Web3 native credentials, develop professional profiles and portfolios, and eventually get access to a huge host of new funding opportunities. As we go, we're looking to onboard new ecosystems and also to support developers in building applications on top of the RADIUS protocol, especially those that need to align talent, capital, and ideas. 
We're currently a small but mighty team and we're fortunate to have the support of many incredible advisors, mentors, and collaborators on this journey. And just on a more personal note, I'm personally so humbled to see this network as it's grown over time, uh, to see just all the impact that we're super excited to generate and just really grateful that Tefra Labs gets to help this network grow as we move forward. Thank you. My name is David and I'm the CEO of Dag House, a startup incubated in Protocol Labs and soon spinning out into its own independent entity. Dag House builds the Web3 storage platform, NFT storage on top of it, and Elastic IPFS, a cloud native IPFS implementation. The Web3 storage platform has grown massively in the last year, now with over 170 million uploads available over IPFS and stored in Filecoin deals. Most of this growth has come from the NFT space, though more recently continues to accelerate outside of it. W3Link, our HTTP gateway, has also grown a ton since launching in March, now with over 1 billion weekly requests. This is from users like Magic Eden, magnifying end user usage. The Web3 storage platform is solving a problem we're all familiar with. Traditional cloud providers are incentivized and designed to lock you in, undermining the potential of applications to truly solve user needs. Our users love the Web3 storage platform because it breaks down data and identity silos found in infrastructure today. By unlocking the data layer, our users can implement any application architecture they can dream of. Our platform consists of complementary products across storage, CDN, and naming that take decentralized protocols and make them super easy to use. Users pay five to 10 cents per Gibby byte stored per month, depending on their use case. Uploads are encoded on the client side into DAGs to keep things trustless, and car files of these graphs are uploaded to our service. Our service stores multiple copies of these car files from our hosted Elastic IPFS solution to make things available over public bit swap in W3Link for fast reads from our gateway, and in Filecoin deals for verifiability, and as we learn today, in the future, much, much more. This year, we've come a long way, simplifying our infrastructure, going from running two free onboarding ramps for data onto Filecoin on completely separate infrastructure to running a single, full-fledged developer platform that we can build a business around. It might sound basic, but growth in the past year has largely come from providing the read and write reliability and performance that users have come to expect. For instance, on the left here, you can see upload latency issues we were having at scale, and on the right, how deploying Elastic IPFS in production really turned performance around, accelerating growth. W3Link was also a huge growth driver, launching and iterating on it with its design providing fast reads while maintaining decentralization. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, and then what are we up to lately? Well, this week we're super excited to share with everyone the beta of our new upload API that's UCAN based. Uh, you heard about UCAN from Fission earlier. Uh, this API, W3Up, will easily let developers build serverless and or um, user-centric applications and plug in uh, copy and paste front-end modules to, for immediate integration with Web3 storage. We also are busy at work optimizing our cost base and passing on cost savings to users. Um, sorry, it's a little bit out of sync. But I think this makes more sense. Yeah. We're uh, busy optimizing our cost base. With IPFS eliminating lock-in, we can give users the choice of where to store their data physically, which commoditizes cloud prices with cheap Filecoin storage at the forefront of disruption. We've only gotten this far because of the awesome DAG House team, as well as the larger Protocol Labs network. Huge shout out to all those who have helped along the way. My name is Ayush. I'm one of the co-founder and CEO of Huddle01. At Huddle01, we are building a decentralized real-time communication engine. Uh, I wanted to meet you all IRL, uh, talk about, uh, give our talk, and tell you about what we have been doing at Huddle01 for the last two and a half years, but unfortunately, uh, wasn't able to make it. Uh, but here I am, uh, talking from India, talking on our own platform at Huddle01, uh, and trying to tell you that what we have done uh, in the last two and a half years. So I'll just do a quick screen share. Uh, so the problems which we had been trying to solve uh, 
were three major, essentially the first being privacy and security. Um, that means the current calls are not, uh, it's transport encrypted, they're not content encrypted. That means your calls could be seen by the servers. At the end of the day, it could be decrypted there. The second is the performance issues. That means the current clients of our architecture for audio and video doesn't lead to a really good quality of calls, especially if you don't have a good bandwidth connection. The, the third is the top-down economy. That means all the value which is getting accrued are either getting accrued to the platform or to the uh, cloud provider itself. That's where Huddle01 comes in. Uh, we have a three-pronged approach. The first is an app. The second is an SDK. And the third is a protocol. The app is a sufficiently decentralized platform. That means you can do all the things you can do on Google Meet and Zoom, but in a cryptonative manner at Huddle01 uh, platform. The second is the SDK. That means a plug-and-play SDK where all the devs uh, can use it to power their calls with a few lines of code. The SDKs are also live. The third is the protocol where that's the end game of Huddle01, where all the people who are running the, who are having a call, one of them can become a node and they can power the call of all of us. So essentially moving from client server architecture to a uh, node node architecture, more towards the edges. Uh, this is the platform uh, where you can do all the things, as I mentioned, uh, you can record over IPFS and Filecoin. You can live stream via live peer where the audio video is done completely by, by the Huddle01 infrastructure. Uh, the traction on the app has been great. We have went from uh, 15,000 minutes of meeting from Q4 2021 to 250,000 in the Q3 of 2022 itself. We have done more than 25,000 meetings so far with 13,000 users, 2,700 wallet users, and 1,300 uh, DID users as well. Uh, this is our team, a team of 23 people now, uh, based all across in India, Germany, uh, Nigeria, as well as Hong Kong, and functional experience in a lot of varieties from development to research to sales and marketing as well. Uh, these have been our services, our app, our APIs and SDKs, which we provide. The SDKs are something which is launched now and we'll be doing a couple of hackathons going forward into future where you can bring your own wallets, you can inject your own NFT in, uh, your NFT element into the SDK itself. You can use recordings over Filecoin. You can live stream via live peer, and it's highly composable, much faster in integration and 3x cheaper than any of the SDKs which are out there. Uh, the emerging use cases of Huddle01, where Huddle01 SDK will be used are immense and we are looking forward to get a lot of adoption into that. Uh, yeah, thank you so much uh, for listening to me. And I, I, I met uh, Juan, I met Colin, I met Molly, uh, James, Ruben, a lot of others of the Protocol Labs team at Filecoin Singapore. Uh, can't wait to meet you again and hope you have a great experience there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.